Now you can get beautiful Gore-Tex examples of Kegels from companies such as Kokotat, but I didn't think I could justify over $200 for an item I would wear infrequently. Instead, why not experiment with the inexpensive poncho I had in my backpacking gear? Here's the list of materials I used. All of it I had on hand. So you've seen my finished CAG, or Kagool as the full name is. And here is a basic frog hog poncho. Brand new and uncut. What I did to figure out where to cut so that it would fit my cockpit was to put it on while I was in the boat. And I spread it out fairly evenly. Oh, I did have to unsnap it. Looks better if you leave the armhole snap snapped. Because you're going to want to raise your arms up over your head as if you were doing a high paddle stroke and make sure you've still got room to do that. Now you could use string or cord or a great big rubber band. I happen to have this big elastic band here just floating around in some of my gear. So I put that over the poncho and around my cockpit rim. I check for smoothness and could I raise my arms so see I had it a little bit tight there give a little more play in the fabric and I also checked to make sure that I could lean forward as if I needed to roll a skill I haven't learned yet but you never know in other words, you're just giving yourself enough flexibility. Now see, I've got it way too tight here. So I'll loosen that up a little bit. And uh, this is a standard size, one fits all poncho. I'm five feet, 10 inches tall. And it's and this is a fairly open cockpit on my Meridian Dagger. So I think you should have plenty of fabric to work with, unless you have like a large fishing kayak. And I don't know, but then you could work with two ponchos and piece one together. Okay, so when you have that all in place, uh, then comes the next step, and I got out to do this part, of tracing it with a pencil all around the cockpit edge, so you'll know, you'll have a reference point for where to cut. And yes, you can get out of one of these. If you unstack the side. And you can wiggle your way out like this if you prefer to stand and trace your line all the way around. Now in the rest of my video where you see me working on my tan poncho to make a keg, I several times referred to the drawstring cord. That was my first plan and I realized halfway through there is no give in this cord. And that would be unsafe because if I use that around the edge to basically tie myself in what if I capsized? How could I get out? That's the whole reason that spray skirts are elastic around the edges. And I had just not thought that one through. So that's why I switched to elastic for my real CAG. And so on my finished CAG, you can see that I used uh, stretchy elastic so that if I'm in the boat and I need to pull I can get out quickly. And as I was drawing my line all the way around the edge of the cockpit rim, I realized it would be very helpful if I wrote front at the front of the poncho so I'll know when I'm cutting at my work table or sewing at my sewing table where it is that I need to leave the gap that the drawstring will come out of.
what I learned when I spread my poncho out on the floor is that I got a much cleaner traced line on one side of my body than I did on the other. Uh, the line you draw on your dominant side will probably be cleaner. So be prepared to get out your measuring tape and to correct the, the lines so that you get a somewhat clean look. <laughs> Had to guesstimate on that side. But the dotted line is where I plan to cut, leaving myself uh, two and a half inches from where that edge of my kayak co cockpit rim was to allow for the casing. And just to state something obvious for the people who are non-sewers or just basic sewers like me, it is important to have the bottom of the garment line up. Uh, so that the casing will run cleanly through. So in this case, on the back side, the distance from here to my cut line is 15 inches. And when I fold it over and measure on the back side, it's 15 inches from here to here. So that, that bottom edge will come out the same. So that's one area of precision you want to make sure on both sides you um, have it level. Not so crucial to have the same exact line, although um, smart sewers would know that they could even that up by making a paper pattern. I'm just doing an experiment to see how this works. So nothing ventured, nothing gained. And there is the new shape of the poncho with the excess removed before hemming. So making a casing for the CAG is not a simple thing because of the extreme curved shape. You can't simply hem a curve. The fabric doesn't bend that way. So you're going to need a second fabric. Mine does not match, but it won't matter. It'll be on the inside. I happen to have had this piece of ripstop fabric from a previous project. It uh, is nylon and it won't tear and is lightweight. So I'm going to make my casings out of this. And as you can see from my chalk markings, very <laughs> casually drawn, I simply put the tag on top of the fabric and I traced around it and then just measured out a three inch distance. And I'm going to have to piece the casing together, but it should work. Here's my design change with the casing pinned in. I think I'm going to probably trim some of this bulk out, but first I will go ahead and hem the outer edge, get that in place, trim some of the fabric away, and then turn it under and stitch it down on this side to make the casing. And here's a very important thing to do before you sew the casing in. Put a buttonhole at the front where you're going to put your drawstrings in <laughs> or else you would get a beautiful casing sewn in with no draw threads in it. Here's the CAG with the casing stitched around the outer edge. And again, I left a buttonhole at the top to draw the strings through. I've run my elastic through the casing now, and I've drawn one end of it through my bottle cap that has the two holes drilled into it. Before I cut the elastic to length though, I'm going to go try it on for size in my boat and make the final tie off there. I hope I've inspired you to create your own CAG so you'll be prepared the next time you're out paddling and you see clouds approaching like this. Happy paddling!